Hey guys, it's Brandy. I'm here today to share with you guys a baby girl mini album and some hair clips that I made for a friend. Uh, this mini album is for one of my friends that's having a baby girl this coming year. Um, I used some ribbon that I had in my stash and then some paper as well. Like the paper didn't come all just from one set. It came from multiple sets. Uh, I used some mesh stretchy ribbon for the closure. I absolutely love that ribbon. Super soft, super stretchy, and perfect for closures. I use these letters on the front cover to put the name of the child on the front, and it looked super cute. Um, I'm not sharing it just for privacy reasons, but um, I did put her name on the front cover and um, added some like silver corner edges to the front. So I added this charm on the side and some ribbon. Uh, the charm, I put the initials of the baby and just some random charms that I had. And then I put it on like a clip closure type thing, dangle thing, um, so that she can remove it if she wants. So, super fun. But yeah, that can just come right off. And as you can see there, it was super stretchy. <laughs> But yeah, I absolutely love using that ribbon for the closures. I got like three different colors. And I think I got it from Hobby Lobby in the spare parts area. So those stamps on the corner is from the stamp set from Close to My Heart. It was a perfect stamp set for making baby mini albums because you can put one month, two month, three month, and so on and so forth. So perfect stamp set to have if you're making baby mini albums a lot. So in each pocket I put like a big enough uh, piece of paper, uh, like card type thing, card stock that she could put like a picture on there, add some journaling, all that good stuff so that she would want. So this is kind of like a simple way for them to just put together an album and not have to stress about it. And then I used a lot of the cut aparts just in one of my paper pads that I had. And then each month I die cut using Lawn Fawn stamp or Lawn Fawn's uh, stitch square dies. I die cut each month with that. So these are great gift ideas, especially for ones having babies. So again, I use like cut aparts that was in one of my paper pads. Uh, this so adorable was so cute. I had to use it. Uh, this, the theme in her nursery is like a safari themed, so I kind of tried to use some animals here and there. So hope you guys like the mini album. Now on to the hair clips. Um, but I absolutely love making mini albums. They are so much fun. And they aren't too bad to make, and if you have a cinch machine, it makes it so much easier to make mini albums. The only thing that stinks about them is you can only make them so big, but definitely fun. So now I'm making some hair clips. Um, I just used some flowers that I had in my stash left over from whenever we made some for my daughter's baby shower. Uh, made her some hair clips to use for the baby. And then I sent her a bunch of mesh headbands so that she can clip these clips onto the headband while the baby doesn't have a lot of hair at first. So I made up a bunch of different ones, just kind of random ones. And I have a feeling she'll like that blue one because blue is one of her favorite colors. So I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe to my channel by hitting that red subscribe button down below. And definitely check out my Instagram and my Facebook group, Crafty Reasons. I share a lot on there as well. So thanks for stopping by, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.